Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Raja Sain. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can add a custom field in your WooCommerce product store. So, uh, whatever the purpose can be, maybe you want to ask the uh, uh, customer to add some information while they're going to uh, add product into the car. So, in this video, we're going to cover that how we can add a custom field so a uh, customer can add some information while they uh, add the product into the card and it's totally free plugin and in this video i'm going to show you step by step that how you can do that and if you are new on my youtube channel uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel so whenever i'm going to upload a new video you're going to get the notification so i'm sharing my screen and watch over there that how we can do that uh, so here you can see uh, on my screen i am already logged into my wordpress website so actually, this is my client website and he asked me to add some custom field in the uh, product. So whenever someone is going to uh, purchase the product, they have to enter some information. So suppose this is the uh, Washington Wizard shirt. And the, let me show you that. Here we go. So uh, they can add the customs uh, or the size, whatever they want. And then they have to enter the uh, player name and enter the number so uh, they can get on their shirt the player uh, name and the number so whatever the purpose uh, is for to adding this custom field you can add that so how we can do that is so simple it is called the yay extra plugin so you have to go to the dashboard and i have already installed this yay uh, commerce and then if you want to install this plugin you have to go to the plugins and click on add a new plugin and here you have to search uh yeah extra and you will see the result here at uh, this one uh yeah extra woocommerce extra product options so here you have to click on to active once it is activated then what you have to do uh you will see this option here so you have to click on yeah extra and as i have uh, added already some custom fields enter a number and the player name uh, as i have shown you already uh, so let me to create another option so I can show you that how you can do that. So I have already created this enter number and enter the player name. So let's we add another custom field. Uh, so you can understand that how you can do that. So on the top you will see the option is called set add the new option set. Click on there. And it's set uh, option name. So suppose uh, it is just uh, for the remembrance I say uh, test. And here it is tough. Uh, you want to give the description for remembrance that for what you are using this, you can add that. Otherwise, leave it and we go to the options. And here we have to create the custom fields. It says click on the manage, add a new option. So uh, it's, uh, it says option one, click on here. And here you have to give the label name. So what, you, what is the label names? If we go to the, uh, again, to the website and then we click on again to the uh, washing turn wizards uh, product here and it is called the uh, label name so it is supposed to uh, player name and then here we says uh, enter country name suppose just for the example okay and then we can make it the is required and okay let's we make it required and then here it says optional type so we can get the information as the text or the text area or the number or checkbook or the radio button there are so many options it has and drop down list as well and some others are in the pro but we don't need uh, these so we can use uh, these options uh, at the free of the cost and then if we scroll down here and here we can do the more setting get the uh, uh, the placeholder name and whatever you want and then if we click on to the uh, actions so we're going to click on add a new set action and then click on here and then here we can make some conditions if you want to have any condition meets then it's the uh, this option is going to work so we don't need to add the, uh, any condition here and then we're going to click on the products so we can assign the products by uh, by manually or we can select all or by the categories we can do that as well so it has really so good options so suppose 
I want to add only this option into the Washington Wizard product. So I am going to click on the copy this and I search here the product name. So it is really so fantastic. So we can do for some products to add the uh, custom fields. So we're going to select this Washington Wizards and then I click on the save changes. Okay, once it's done, so let's we uh, try to refresh the page and see the result. Uh, okay, let, uh, uh, let me do reset again. Uh, it is not coming for, for some reason, so let's we try again. Uh, I have to set the uh, Washington Wizards and it's, just, it's still unset. Okay, I forget to click on the set assign this option. So I select that and I have clicked on to the save changes. So that's why the result is not affected here. So what we have to do, suppose I have to select the wizards and then I have to click on set assign. Okay, so now it will be assigned this uh, function, this the custom field to the is perfect product. Then I have to click on the save changes and now we're going to refresh the page. And uh, let's see, uh, it's still it's not displaying, uh, maybe for some reason. Okay, so uh, we go back again to see uh, okay, on the top you can see <laughs> I forget to click on ac it active this uh, fun uh, ad active this field. So what I have to do, click on the active this one and set in. Sorry for <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, whenever you are, are doing this, uh, so uh, just follow these steps and then click on the save changes. And then again we're going to refresh the page. Okay, now that's perfect. Now here you can see the it has the a player name, enter the number, and then here they can add the country name as well. So this is how you can add the custom field in your WooCommerce product. Uh, so this can be the requirement for your client or for your own website. That's it. And uh, if you want to see the more videos like this, uh, hit subscribe my channel. And whenever I'm going to upload a new video, you're going to get the update. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.